the best thing to, to say is it lasted, you know, I was president for 28 years, as I recall. Uh, there was never any question about removal uh, from him or from me. So it had to be pretty good. Uh, I think he respected me and I respected him in the We had our differences, but I don't think it ever broke out as far as the trade papers were concerned or Jack Gould or anybody else. Uh, if we had differences, we dealt with them privately. And if we were in a meeting uh, with some of the junior executives and Paley and I were going down separate routes, I developed the technique of saying, well, gee, let's think about that, Bill, and, and uh, talk about this next week. He backed off, I backed off, and, and privately we would talk about it and re try to resolve it. So that I didn't want to have blood all over the floor in the boardroom. <coughs> Never any problem. I know an awful lot of guys in business, and I know the problems they have. And <clears throat> sure, we had differences, but well, the answer is it worked. And it only worked because Bill was willing to live with the kind of nut that I am. <laughs> I think he was, I think he was disappointed that I didn't do, do more in New York society. I wasn't cut out to be that kind of a guy. Uh, I think he was hurt during the, some of the hearings because people kept talking about me. I was in the headlines. And he said to me one day, you know, some of my friends think that I, I don't do anything anymore. You're, you're the company. And I said, I'm sorry, but I don't, I don't know how to handle that. And it was a delicate question. Uh, but he was, he gave me my opportunity. And uh, well, for, you know, what was it, 28 years, I ran the company. <laughs>